because we're joined by Mike Robinson from Game Day Nation. And Mike Rob, on Friday night, Genoa Rossford, uh, an emotional game played on the eve of 9 11. And yeah. Rossford really did very well what they how they prepared some things for that ceremony with a yes. free game flyover. Moving, moving ceremony in Rossford. Well done by the Bulldogs in that community. But let's talk about the game yes. itself and the deception we're referring to is. Some of the things Genoa was doing in order to provoke Rossford to do some things defensively allowed for some easy touchdowns for the Comets. Absolutely. You know, all the stars had to align. You had the stars, the stripes, and you also had the football, the pigskin. So let's go ahead and talk about how the Comets did this, put these constellations in the air. So let's take a look at this play. Again, quarterback to receiver. Whoop de doo, right? Just an easy slant route. It's just not that simple. This is the big play breakdown. Let's talk about it. Okay, middle of the field, wide open. End zone here, second down. Take a look. You got two guys in the slant. They're going to go ahead and run a bubble route. Right now, they're waving, waving, waving. When you're playing man to man, those safeties are playing tight to the line. They're going to step up, and the pass to Mr. Diaz is going to automatically be there because he beats the corner with a slick inside step with that left foot making a nice catch in the back of the end zone. But wait, there's more. A little bit of celebrations, too. You got to love that. This is high school football. Again, you do it once, you do it twice. If you do it twice, you're going to make it even nicer. Here's the young man, Mr. Diaz. He did it all night long on his feet, on the defensive side, on the offensive side. He can make plays left and right. Here's a special play again. Let's take a look. We got to give a shout out to Mr. Aiden Burkhorst and his uh, Comets football team for doing what they did. You see the bubble screen here to the trip side. You had a smoke screen as well. All these defenders stepped up trying to bite on the underneath route. That's why you have patient feet, sit patient in the secondary so you don't bite on things like this. And then you get bit by this guy right here. The Comets take off in a big way. Genoa football, big play breakdown. It goes to you. Genoa, they've got a big matchup this week as they'll host Eastwood. Rossford's got uh, Fostorian and NBC play. Let's talk about some of the other games coming up this Friday in high school football in the track. Central St. John's Titans, they lost to Lima Senior on a Friday 7-6. But more importantly, they got hurt, banged up in that game, and that's going to affect who they're going to have on the field against Central. Yeah, absolutely. We don't want to say what we know for a fact, but we like to speculate, and that's okay. I'm going to say uh, we know that Brady Lichtenberg, I mean, not Brady, Blake Lichtenberg, so many Lichtenbergs, <laughs> he got banged up a little bit in the first half, then not return in the second half. So they got questions at quarterback that they have to feel. They couldn't get any points on the board there in that second half. Lima was able to get that 6-7 to seven victory. So they got to find a way to generate points this week if they don't have Blake Lichtenberg. But Central Catholic, Wow, they came out and they did an excellent job giving it to Finley all game long. Finley didn't score until it was one minute left in the football game. So they put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. So defense wins championships. That's going to be the name of the game in this week. Central has dominated Finley over the last decade or so. And there, there were plenty of people who thought this was going to be the year for Finley. Certainly there's plenty of talent on that Finley yes. Trojans team. They just could not do anything offensively against Central. A dominant defensive performance by the Irish, which is not to be surprised, except we didn't think Central had this in them because they had lost two of their first three games. But again, it goes back to the quality of the competition and the quality of Central's schedule. This is a good Irish team. Yeah, absolutely. You, you nailed it right on the head. You know, you, they played Benedictine and they played St. Ed's. Both of those teams were 3-0 heading into their, well, heading into week four. And I believe they both went on to be 4-0. So when you go up against competition like that, you take it to league play. You know, you've played against the top tier. St. Ed's is probably going to win a state championship. You know, Bar and Springfield from Dayton area kind of tip them off. So that's going to be something to watch. Tipping you guys off. But Central Catholic went up against those top teams. Everyone thought they were down. They just played up against the best of the best. And, and that's how you get prepared for teams like Finley because they're very talented. They're just young and still trying to gel together. All right, Mike Rob, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.